Leon could not agree more. Let's go find that rascal and drag him back by the ears. Hi guys, welcome back to my Guarantee and Impact video. On this video, I'm gonna show you the location of meteorite shards on the where stars fall. You can clear the quest simply by collecting seven shards. Mihoyo also has fixed the bug so the rest of the shards won't disappear when you teleport out of the area. So take time to gather all of the shards. Let's begin the guide. So let's begin from the number one on the map. So on this Starfell Monstat, there are so many meteorite shard which embedded to the cliff. So make sure you search them on the cliff when you're not able to find. But since you have watched this video, I don't think you need to search it because you can see the location from my video. So let's keep going north. And you can see the second meteorite shard. And then run to the north, northwest. And it is on the cliff. There you can see it. Quite well hidden. Mm, take it. Let's go to the fort. Off we go. Wait, wait. It's better to climb to this spot first. And then the... It is on that small platform. So this is the number fort. So let's teleport back to this spot okay number five you can teleport because they have fixed actually it is not a bug but yes they allow us to use teleport because back then the meteorite shards will disappear once you have gathered seven of them so it is on the top of this temple of falcon so this is number five number five so let's go to number six location. Okay. Simply ignore the enemy. Oh, they keep chasing me, but... Number six. It's nearby. There. Yep. We can complete the quest now, but again, let's gather the rest. There are 21 meteorite shards.
So it is on the roof. You can see that. So we need to search for higher ground. Because from what I know, you cannot climb this house directly. There. Okay, number eight. Mm -hmm. Adventure time. You can see it on the wall, number nine. Number nine, done. Now let's go to number ten. Adventure time. Number 10 is close. I really hope sometimes in the future maybe they will give us some transportation method. Because yes, this game is inspired by Zelda. And this is number 10 location. Where is it? I'm quite forgot number 10. Is it on the cliff? Yeah, that that is the shard. Okay, let's climb it first. Let's restore our stamina. So I think this is the hardest location for these shards. There, you can see it on the wall. Number 10. Now you can simply climb or let yourself drown. Like, just let... Benny's oh, dead! I have failed you. Okay, it will going back up. How are you? Drown. Sorry, Bennett. But I think that's the fastest way to go back up. So we back here. Now we can go to number 11 location. Okay, is it here? Number 11. So, yeah. From number 10 to 14, they are kind of near the location. Number 12, got it.
13. Now this number 14 location is very very high place so if you enter this spot from wrong direction you probably cannot climb this spot okay so my recommendation is to follow my route here And again, this is another hard to get location. You can see it on the wall. Wait, wait. Nah. That's it. It's quite hard. Careful. Meet your side. So, yes, the 14 pieces. So, now let's teleport to this. Spot. Okay. Yes, I believe this spot. Okay. So, from this spot, let's detour first. There is one. Nearby the 15. There, you can see it. Take it. Let's resurrect Bennett first. Okay. No. Okay. Actually, I'm. I did a little bit mistake. Okay, that's not. That's not the number fifteen. So here is the number fifteen. Number fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. <laughs> so we have obtained the number uh, 19 and 20 So the last piece number 21 
there. You need to climb again. Let's wait for stamina. There. You have obtained all the uh, meteorite shards on the... What is this called? The Starfell... Oh, no, wait, wait. Starfell Valley? Yeah, Starfell Valley. Okay. So, yes, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more Genshin Impact video. Bye-bye, guys.